Did you know that you can create your own spells within the wizarding world? In this video, I will show how that is possible according to the Harry Potter canon lore. Stay tuned! To start deals and let's get right into the video. Apparate! I recently watched a new trailer for the latest installation in the wizarding world, Hogwarts Legacy. And before the game releases, I would like to show an interesting part of the lore of Harry Potter. Before we start, you must understand what a spell is. A spell is a consequence of a certain movement and words spoken by either a witch or a wizard. Spells are often produced with an incarnation, such as words spoken by the wizard. And for more experienced wizards, they could just mentally think of the casting words. The effect could look like jets of light. Because of this, spells could often miss be dodged or blocked, either with an object or of another spell. So you better be careful where you hit and aim the spell. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button below for more gaming theories just like this one. But you also have to remember the fact that within Hogwarts Legacy or really any other Harry Potter book or movie, these spells have many different uses. So many that I can't even say all of them within this one video. Some of these spells might have different effects, such as lighting up dark areas, unlocking locks, levitating certain objects, disarming someone, and the list goes on and on. But no wizard can just cast these powerful spells out of their hands. They must have an instrument. This instrument is named a wand. This one is a quasi-sentient magical instrument through which a witch or wizard channels their po magical powers to centralize the effect for more complex and more powerful results. Most spells were cast with the help of wands, but spells can also be cast without the use of wands, although they will have way less power than using a wand not to mention the difficulty of learning these spells without the wands. Most of the times the wand chooses the wizard, and some wizards earn them by winning them in duels. Hopefully we will see these mechanics within Hogwarts Legacy. You might be asking yourself, but how does this have to do with creating your own custom spells? Well, to answer that question, you must first understand the basics of how a spell works. Anyways, the first time we saw someone create their own spell within Harry Potter was with Professor Snape's Sectum Sempra. This spell pretty much cuts the target like a knife. This is one of the more aggressive spells that the wizarding world has. You will most likely see this spell within Hogwarts Legacy. But how did Snape create his own spell? Well, that can be explained by spells being created and based on the witch or wizard's needs. Some simpler spells for uses such as illuminating an area can be magnified and powered to illuminate an entire house or neighborhood. The power lies within the magical being. The wand is a directional tool slash instrument, helping control the spell's reach and its intended purpose. To keep spells from being set accidentally, the dead language of Latin is key. Snape was smart and clever enough to channel the energy to cut an enemy, potentially cutting them apart. Whether he invented the spell himself or rediscovered it and created his own version is not possible to determine. Although Snape has been proven to create other spells, which include the likes of the dangling jinx. And once you supply the energy, words, and motion, it becomes a power capable of replication by others. But the question still ponders, why didn't anyone create their own spells? Well, this is rather simple to explain. First of all, the wizard casting the spell must be somewhat experienced in how spells work. They must have a certain use for the spell as well such as with Sectum Sempra, the use of the spell being to cut others like a sword. After this, they have to be able to supply the proper energy, words, and motion for the spell. But to be fair, the main reason why we don't see anyone using this commonly, and the reason for this feature 
won't be within Hogwarts Legacy is that it will be way too complex and be able to resolve tons of issues with no sweat, consequently taking away all of the climax and threat that was previously established. But ignoring that fact, let's take a look at what you could create with your own spells. You could be able to create a non-permanent magic bridge, a permanent sword beam coming out of your wand, similar to a lightsaber, disintegrate certain objects, and the list goes on and on. By the way, comment below which spell you would create within Hogwarts Legacy if you had the ability to do so. All in all, I cannot wait to play Hogwarts Legacy, even though you cannot create your own spells within the game, which is honestly the least of my concerns while playing the game. Don't forget to join the Starry Discord where I can theorize more about games and have all in all fun, link in the description. If you want to find out how the harmless looking power ups of Super Mario are actually parasites, click on the video on the bottom. And click on the video on the top to check out Star Tales' latest upload. This has been Star Tales and I'll see you guys in the next one, Bye bye